And, you know, Dre, I can see uh, that, well, it looks like the world had unleashed upon it the most insignificant and utterly useless tweet in the history of Twitter. Uh, I only break, make mention of it because you, I, and our viewers, we fund the entity that tweeted it out at CBC News. Mm -hmm. And they state, today, the CBC will resume some <laughs> activity on a handful of oh. Twitter accounts, including yeah. at CBC News, but we will significantly reduce our overall Twitter footprint and continue to assess the platform against our social media strategy, end quote. Oh, no, significantly reduce. You know, I feel like the monsters at the end of Where the Wild Things Are, Drea, when uh, the boy is making his escape and they go, oh, no, please don't go. We love you. So <laughs> it's like real. What if um, a tree falls in a forest and no one's there? I guess it doesn't make a sound. If CBC says they're reducing their uh, tweeting, Drea, does anyone in our great dominion even notice? <laughs> no, nobody cares. But I am glad they're coming back. This is a sign that they had to crawl back. I don't know if you remember their initial statement when they said they were leaving, but it was pretty obvious to me that they had one foot in and one foot out the door because they said like for a period of time, because they know when it comes to politics, when it comes to news, there is no other social media app than Twitter that even comes close to it. That's where consumers are. Love it or hate it. You want to go on there and say something bad about Rebel News? You can do it. If you want to say something bad about CBC, you can do it. It's not like Facebook where you can't even comment on the CBC on most of their reports there, but they had to come crawling back. And so uh, as much as I'm not a fan, I'm, I'm happy to see them crawl back. And, but you know what, Drea, what gets me is the motivation for this. And it's mm -hmm. basically a vendetta against Elon Musk. And it's so incredible. You go back a year and a half ago before he got control of Twitter. Um, Elon Musk was the darling of the left. Oh, he's making yeah. those EV cars, you see. He's saving Mother Earth and probably Mother Ocean. Uh, you know, carbon <laughs> neutral, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden he gets control of Twitter and he's a blah, 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 blah. What? A free speech activist? And here is why CBC is being irresponsible with this mandate. Uh, we can't do anything right now. Well, maybe until Pierre Polyev gets into office uh, when much hopeful uh, regime change comes. But while they are being taxpayer funded to more than a billion dollars plus, you would wow. think they would strategically use that um, mm -hmm. to get as many eyeballs as possible. Now, we live in a day and age of cable cutters. People don't, you know, there's so many people that aren't even watching TV anymore. The CBC mm -hmm. National yeah. News, their numbers, it, it's pathetic. It's embarrassing. You would think they would embrace the most popular social media platform out there for news. But no, because we don't like Elon, we don't like this thing, you know, free speech. Uh, we're taking our taxpayer funded ball and going home. What idiots. Yeah, go woke, go broke. So that's why they came back. There's a comment actually under their announcement of returning. It's from uh, Lion Advocacy. He says, you're, enti you're entirely violating your social media strategy by boycotting Twitter. This is what he says to CBC. And then he quotes from their own uh, sort of mandate in this area and says, we committed to transforming the public broadcaster into a digital media company and to reach more Canadians on the platforms in the ways that they need. It's supposed to be about the public. Where can you reach the public? You don't just uh, get all woke and go into your little echo chambers. That's not the news. Oh, you know, Dre, you're so right. I mean, the chutzpah there. We are going to increase our digital footprint. We are going to reach out to more Canadians with our news uh, on our own. Uh, you know what, CBC? What if we don't want to be reached? You know, I, I, I know I know, unrequited love is a really heartbreaking thing, but uh, we ain't buying what you're selling. More and more of us, uh, it would seem, yeah. according to the ratings. So you know what? Um, just take that money you were going to invest on uh, some social media foray and buy a ham sandwich down at the cafeteria with it. Uh, it it's I, I'm saving you a lot of uh, aggro uh, for a mission that will not be accomplished.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we have a little bit more sort of on that note with Twitter <laughs> too, don't we? Uh, Elon Musk has something to, to say. You're yes. right. This is kind of a war against Elon Musk and it's about... <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing? Oh, I'm like, why are you laughing so hard? Because I'm reading. I'm like, I'm not that funny. I see. I see. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Broke back a mountain. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, I, 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 I never did see that film uh, when it came out. It must be, what, 15 years ago now, uh, Drea? I'm, I'm yeah. guessing. Um, I, I don't know, folks. Call me a square, but uh, I don't like to watch a Western where the uh, bad guys get it in the end. <clears throat> anyway, um, <clears throat> the <laughs> but that <laughs> that meme is brilliant, and uh, yeah, it, it's really the CBC, uh, you know, playing it too clever by half, isn't it, Drea? That you know, um, you know, like sort of like they're a, a hesitant suitor uh, when. Like I said, uh, the majority of Canadians, I would argue, and I think the ratings and the stats back me up, uh, don't want uh, their content. That's a clip from something we call Rebel News Daily. It's our daily live stream hosted by my friend David Menzies, but the show also includes a rotating cast of hosts and special guests, including me. It's a great way for us to talk about the news of the day as the news is happening in an unscripted fashion, and it's an awesome way for you to interact with us as well. We stream every weekday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Mountain, wherever you find Rebel News. See you there.